Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. The new Audi RS7 Sportback 2019 model. It's right here. This is the hybrid version of the of the new RS7 and I have to tell you this car right here in front of me have 600 horsepower. It's a very very powerful um car and also beautiful, amazing beautiful. I love those rims. I think those are the most beautiful rims I ever see uh, this year until now. Beautiful front. I think Audi with this RS7 uh, broke the market with a beautiful design. Amazing, amazing design. I love every single line, every single shape about the car. I think it looks fantastic. Even the aerodynamic of the car you will see a little bit later. It is gorgeous, gorgeous aerodynamic. The LED look fantastic. Uh, we will go there, of course, a little bit later. But first time, let me show you the information. So the Audi RS7 Sportback, the base price of this car is $160,000. It has eight cylinder V8. Uh, but the price of this car that you see here, right here in the front, it is one hundred ninety thousand uh one hundred nine nine thousand uh, dollars so it's it's kind of uh, a big price but uh, the quality of the car it's phenomenal and uh it totally deserves if you have the money also six parking sensors in the front uh you can see here the shape of the bumper sporty it's phenomenal there it's the air intake it's a radiator inside there uh that that filter the air that will go to the brake discs um i will show you also on the other side the brake disc in a moment but the front front uh bumper of the car it's it's so beautiful really beautiful and also here is the radar for adaptive cruise control we have two radars in the front uh, emergency brake adaptive cruise control front camera right here uh, under the logo um, and I, I love it. I love the shape. All that air intakes in the grill that go to the engine to cool down the engine. Also RS7 logo here uh, on the side. Then uh, I find it really, really nice. Really powerful. It give you this sensation of, of power uh, when you see this grill. Also on this side here, guys, so the air come here. You have a radiator there uh, inside. I think you can see it. And then the air will go out from here, from the bumper, I think. If I zoom out, uh, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see those uh, little holes where the air will come. And then it will go directly to this huge brake, brake disc, uh, really big brake discs right here. The, the the greatest technology also we have the calipers from ceramic you can see audi ceramic brake calipers and those huge discs um help to to break down uh, and the, the brakes are phenomenal also the rims look very beautiful guys uh in my opinion they look fantastic uh, the shape the the, the design it's, it's super nice also, we have 22 inch here. We have the Firelli P0 tires on the car right now. Um, so you can see here 22 inch uh, that come with the car. So they are gorgeous, gorgeous. They fit so nice with the car. And you can see the aerodynamic of the car, the shape of the car. It has a fantastic aerodynamic. They work a lot of this design and they did a great job. Uh, also, we have the new SS LED light, a uh, laser LED light, the daylight, you can see those lines, uh, parallel lines there, they are uh, already open right now, it's a daytime here, I don't know, if, sure if you can see it so well, but they look stunning, they look stunning, super beautiful, uh, the front of the car, it's so aggressive, so nice, also you have here some black plastic with some air intakes, uh, kind of the air will go inside there to the engine also up here. I see on, on the Porsche the same same model on the Porsche GT4. Um, it's it's the same same um, kind of the same design but here it's smaller. Uh, the hood also have a lot of lines and shape you can see on the hood there that make the car much more aggressive and really nice. Up here we have the camera uh, and the 
raining sensors, the camera that, that helped the car to keep in lane for lane assist, also reading the traffic speed limit. Uh, it's right there. We have the new wipers, very good quality. You can see they are much more uh, thinner and smaller. And um, yeah, they, they, they improve this a lot, of, of course, as well. And look at the lines, guys, on the side of the car. Look how beautiful they do it. I think this is the most beautiful car in this class, in my opinion. Also, the aerodynamic of the car, the design, you can see it's it's so nice. Um, I'm not sure what is the coefficient of the aerodynamic, but I'm sure it's, it's pretty awesome. Also, here you can see the camera because the car has 360 degrees camera. So you have a video camera right there in the mirror. Uh, the shape of the mirrors, it's also something new from Audi uh, that I didn't see before. It's very nice shape, uh, quite interesting. And also um, it gives these this sharp edges and, and uh, design make the car look much more special. Like the, the Audi special, like like really something new. And down here also we have some plastic in, in this sport design um, with some um, improvement to the to the look of the car. Of course, around the, the windows, around the edges of the windows, you have this glossy plastic, like BMW also use it on, on their cars. And I find it very nice, very nice. They're they're very uh, inspired with this uh, glossy plastic around the windows and also the, sh the design of the windows between here we have some rubber very good quality and it looks fantastic with those tinted windows even the doors guys they feel great as you touch it i don't know how to explain you that but they are much much cooler and you have soft close you can see the, the door is closed uh, automatic if you not close it well so you have soft close on all the doors that's something really special and uh, it's kind of electric uh, the door when you touch it you don't even need to pull it too, too much you just pull it a little bit and the door it's open it's it's great great quality also we have the newest uh, tank entry how can i say this uh, it's the new system uh, when you tank very easy you don't have to open uh, nothing anything you just open this and then just put it in you can see there the instruction and then just push it it's very simple to to tank the car with this new system and uh, i see it of course on other cars as well i don't remember which car anyway check out on my channel if you're interested in that anyway i love also the shape in the back very nice shape there is the the brake light it's very tiny line i think you can see it there if i zoom in uh, it's very tiny line and, and very 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 uh, very nice uh, the way they do it I, I like it and also this muscular body here in the back this help a lot the aerodynamic you can see the tesla has also the same design on model 3 uh, this muscular body in the, in the back that helped the air to go around the car uh, the full led light the bumper in the back the two exhaust pipes uh, gorgeous really gorgeous and this um daylight guys this led light in the back look phenomenal i don't know about you but i love it i love the way they look also the audi logo in, in black uh, every line look great gorgeous car very nice lines and uh, also six parking sensors in the back uh, of course uh, as expected also we have on the car here it's the rs7 logo uh, on the side and then we have the led lights on the number plate reverse camera uh, of course there and the, the down here we have the exhaust pipe we have some light reflector uh, you can see the exhaust pipe right there inside and what can i say it looked nice it's, it's perfect the car it's perfect in my opinion it's one of my favorite car design, exterior car design, one of my favorite. Uh, it's in top three. I have to tell you that. I like very much this car. Um, it looks phenomenal, really. Really, they did a great job. Um, yeah. Also in the front, guys, 
um, there is the, the blind spot technology. So you have this light. If you know the Audi, they, they put it in the mirror, but they put it on the side of the mirror. I just want to open the blinkers. I want to show you the blinkers, the following light. It looks fantastic. And I think you will, you, most of you are really interested to see that. So you can see from the back of the car, the following light right now. You can see it. It looks so nice. What do you think, guys? I think it's look super, super nice. Very beautiful design, really nice. Um, here on the mirrors as well, you have this LED light. This time it's just, just stable, normal. And in the front, again, the following light. Look the front of the car. It's like the Kit car. I don't know, you guys, if you see that movie, Kit. It was in the middle and was red. It looked the same, the same following light. It, it looks so nice. When when the blinkers in the front are open, you cannot see the daylight. So, order the daylight, order the the, the blinkers. So, um, yeah. Anyway, gorgeous. I love it. Very beautiful. I don't know. No words about this car. Uh, I, in my opinion, it's one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful car. I have. To, I try to think about now uh, a beautiful car like that. Maybe the BMW 8 Series. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. If you see it on my channel, if you didn't see BMW 8 Series, you can check it out. Also, it has a beautiful design, exterior design. Um, but yeah, anyway, I like. I think I like it more, this one. Anyway, uh, automatic lift gate in the trunk as expected. Also, the protection there for the trunk, it's already up. The triangle, it's up there um, in the door. And the entrance in the car, it's huge, really huge. I didn't expect to be such a big entrance in the car. And I like this aluminum. I always like this aluminum uh, in the trunk. Um, it feels like super premium. Also, like... 10 centimeter there, deepness. We have the hooks here in every corner. Uh, aluminum as well. Uh, here you have the 12 volt port. Uh, on the other side, you have some storage space. And also, um, you can open that there. I think are the fuse box. I'm not sure about that. But under the floor, guys, um, you still have some space for repair kit and all that stuff. Um, you can put some some stuff around there. So it's quite big trunk. I didn't expect to have such a sporty car uh, with so much space here. Also, this will stay here. Uh, you can take it out if you want, but you still have this net there that you can put it up uh, if you want it, just like that. Um, it's quite interesting and also you can take this out without any problem if you want to carry big items and it's so big this trunk that you can put even huge stuff huge pieces uh, in the car led light two led lights in the trunk there you can also see it you can fold down the seats all all three seats you can fold it down even the middle part you can fold it down if you want to so i will go inside and then i will show you that guys so it's quite impressive in my opinion. So let me go to show you right now. So you can fold down those beautiful seats. We will go to the seats in a moment as well. And then you will have a flat floor there. It's, it's gorgeous. Guys, not only that the car is gorgeous exterior design, but it's also uh, super practical. So you have so much space in the car and um, let me go in the front. Someone put the seats too much in the back. Uh, of course, electric adjustable seats for the driver and for the passengers. Uh, very simple to adjust it. Uh, you have different position to adjust it here. And also the, 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 the upper part right here. And yeah, you have to adjust manually this part here. It's very simple. You can make it longer or shorter the way you want it. So I think this is the normal position. You still have plenty of legs room there uh, in the car. So yeah, let me go in back now. And let's see how much space you still have here. Um, huge space. You can see that the seat folding are all the way flat. Uh, and you still have a huge space here. You can even sleep in the car. 
without any problem. Uh, huge space here on the legs room left where you can put some stuff and then on the other side on the driver's side even there you still have some space i like this flat flat uh floor and also the entrance in the car it's it's quite big uh impressive for such a design such a kind of coupe design of the car uh with such aerodynamic they do a great job really beautiful car and also here you can see the trunk um how big it is so impressive what can i say I, I i have no words for that guys really this car really uh, really it's a it's a top it's a top class and also very powerful too bad that the consumption is so big if it was electric wow i think they will sell a lot of cars when this car was electric and driving till 500 kilometer maybe more i think that would be a must <laughs> for the, the richest people. Uh, and not only. Anyway, two cup holders, a lot of space down here in the middle. Um, also, you can fold down the middle part here without any problem. So you can carry skis and you still have two passengers in the back there. Um, quite beautiful, really. Really practical great job Audi you did a great job now we have this um leather seats guys you can see that in the back up there you have still, still the net there um now let me go to the doors first time and then i will go to the seat so we have frameless windows everywhere uh you have to pay attention in the winter uh with the rubbers you have to put some cream on the rubbers that not freezing uh great quality here on the doors guys um leather of course uh, what can you expect and then you have the speaker you have some um some chrome design there the handle uh, beautiful design right here we have carbon fiber i guess uh, right here on the doors beautiful design then we have some plastic here a little bit and then we have chrome design and alcantara right here and then again, leather with red stitches, uh, very beautiful design. The doors are really nice designed. Um, here we have the speaker, Bang Olufsen, very good quality. I, I, I turned on the music before and it, it sounds gorgeous, really nice. Um, entrance in the car, a little bit of LED light with some aluminum there. Then we have the plastic with the entrance bef behind the front seat, sport seats in the front, of course, behind it, some plastic with some storage space down here. Um, and then let me go to the gorgeous uh, seat. The air is gorgeous seat. You can see it with the red stitches look fabulous. Uh, also here on the side, we have this leather. Uh, very nice, very nice. And also the, the seat belt are they have these red uh, lines on the side and, and they, they work very well with the seat. Uh, sports seat also in the back. You can see the design. You can see the stitches, the holes there in them. They are very, very comfortable. And um, the quality, it's, it's phenomenal. You have also Isofix in the back for the kids there. And yeah, let me go inside <clears throat> to see the space. Here we have the vents, two vents. They feel good quality. Uh, they are not so super fancy like on the Mercedes, but they they feel good quality. Two USB ports in the middle, 12 volt port, and the big big step there, big big bump in the middle there, really huge. But um, it's not such a big problem. You will see when I will go in the middle. Also a hook, vents here on the B pillar, good quality rubber here on this wheel. Uh, it feels very nice. Uh, when you touch it let me go all the way inside the car and let me show you the rest of the car guys so space on my knees plenty of space on my legs no problem as expected an led light under the front seat there um, a lot of space on my legs the, the comfort in the seat it's pretty good space on my head i didn't expect to have too much space maybe three fingers there three four fingers if i go a little bit in the front then it's perfect the visibility on the windows it is gorgeous gorgeous perfect visibility handle here hooks on the roof it's also good quality but the visibility outside the window it's 
it's super good. That's something that you should keep in mind. It looks gorgeous. LED lights also up here in the middle on the roof, guys. Good quality. Uh, let me go in the middle. <clears throat> in the middle now to see how much space I have there. Plenty of space on my knees. Exactly what I'm telling you before. And also on my head, I have just one, two fingers. A little bit smaller space here. But... You don't have so much head, head space, but left and right, huge space. So for free people, you can stay without any problem here. Only problem, it's a little bit on the head. You don't have so much space. Of course, the, the design of the car, the aerodynamic, um, it's much improved. So um, it's not an SUV. So for, for a car like this with such aerodynamic, it's very, very awesome. A lot of space inside the trunk and... You can still be able to have free person in the back. The new dashboard, it's phenomenal. It's it's gorgeous. One of the best on the market. Also, you have this glass roof there um, in the front, kind of a half of the roof. You have this glass. And yeah, it look nice. Very nice. And let me go in the front to show you the front of the car right now, guys. It's uh, the door in the front great quality as well a frameless window you can see someone put the hand there it wasn't me i never touched the glass <laughs> even on my car i never touch and someone sometimes touch it and then it's a problem you have to, to wash it so anyway uh, great quality on the door here you have the leather with stitches there you have this chrome design even the buttons here for lock and unlock are in chrome and they look very nice in some carbon fiber on the door right here. Uh, looks so beautiful. Then we have some chrome with some LED light insertion there in the door, ambient light. Alcantara, of course, then the leather with red stitches, the buttons look so nice. The buttons are like in the Mercedes, you can see here the, the gray buttons. Also here the mirrors, adjustable button. And then uh, down there you have some storage space, you have this uh, trunk opener, and then the same speaker right here on the other side. Uh, kind of similar as in the back, only that here on this chrome design you have these buttons to save the, the, the memory position of the electric seats. Uh, art right there on the chrome, and I like this design, I like this chrome, the way they design it there. Entrance in the car, we have the RS uh, logo, of course, RS7 logo right there at the entrance in LED light, electric seat, as you see it before. Then we have even the, the, the carpet with RS logo, aluminum pedals, you can see it. And then uh, the seats in the front are also great, sport seats, uh, RS logo there in the middle. Uh, the seat belt is the same as in the back with the red uh, red insertion and also the stitches in the seat are red and they, they make this combination of red with black. It's very nice. I like it very much. They are very comfortable even for long trips. You can see the holes there on the seat. They look super nice. Um, super modern quality in the car it's phenomenal guys uh, you don't find um, plastic you almost don't find any plastic in the car it's everything it's it's such a great quality even the steering wheel it's in alcantara and even you have alcantara there on the center console on the side you can see it uh, so you don't find any plastic here it's a huge long space you can see my hand it's go almost all inside there so it's a very long space there where you can put your stuff. I like these new light controllers from here. It's kind of a touch screen. So anytime you, you press this button, it's like a click, click. And it feels so nice. You have such a nice feedback on your finger. And the quality, it's phenomenal. I like it. I like the way they, they design that and they do that and they feel like, like super premium. The carbon fiber on the dashboard also here. The vents, they feel good quality uh, and they are very nice designed. All over here we have leather with stitches on the dashboard. So you can see it very well. Also on the A-pillar you have the vent for the windows, the froster, 
then you have the head of display in the front there some speaker on the dash and all other than that you can see the dash it's pretty simple pretty straight and I like this straight dash because you have a great visibility um, and it's simple it's not so stressful so this is simple straight and perfect just this just let you relax and enjoy the, the view on the windows around the car also great visibility no blind spot you can see they add these windows in the back it's kind of impressive uh, that you don't have any blind spot there anyway the car have 360 degrees camera so you can park it without any problem so you have a great visibility outside also the design the doors with the dashboard has a beautiful design um, it looks super nice in my opinion and also you can see here the vents um, and also how they install it, how they put it under the the dash there. You don't even see it, and they are in the perfect position. They send the air directly where it should send the Quadro logo here because this car is four wheel drive, of course. Uh, and then the carbon fiber right there. Um, look at the design. Look how how nice they design this multimedia system. How they integrate it there. It's it is really nice. I don't know. Not many dashboards are made with so much good taste and everything makes sense here. Anyway, um, Alcantara steering wheel. So the grip, it's it's perfect. Uh, RS logo, you can see the red stitches even here. This is the new steering wheel. It looks super nice and if it feels so, so uh, luxurious. Also the buttons here, the, the, you can see it, they, they look nice. They feel, this wheel here feels such a good quality when you touch it. And the glossy black buttons there in the front, you have the, the digital cockpit. I think you see it in my other videos. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail right now. You can see the map there. You can customize the way you want it from here, from those buttons. Then you have the clappers. The clappers are from plastic. Only in the Porsche I see those clappers uh, from metal, but in uh, in the new RS7, they are plastic. Here you have the RS button where you can change the different driving mode and then you have those uh, controllers for the multimedia system here is the controller for adaptive cruise control and um, yeah other than that everything look nice here on the multimedia system guys we will go in the second but first time let me show you the the glow box the glow box it's it's kind of big we have an led light inside there and it's it's big enough uh for this car i think it's it's kind of um, enough and you have plenty of space there and then um, yeah it's quite impressive here the center console looks super nice we have another screen here where you can change the climatic system and, and some other uh, function right here um, that's also pretty awesome then you have the different driving mode there you can change it in sport comfort and echo then you have these those buttons here you can see it the, the camera around the car and the sensors, parking sensors. Then you have this wheel here with glossy black and some LED insertion there. That's fancy and the start stop button right here. Um, pretty nice. Some chrome design. Then you can you come with this um, um, this Alcantara also on the side here. As I told you before, you don't have any plastic almost. Only the chrome. But other than that. It looks gorgeous. The carbon fiber right here. And you have the buttons in, in the same color. I love this color, chrome color. Electric auto hold, electric handbrakes. Then you have this stick with Alcantara. We have Alcantara right here on the stick. It looks so nice, really nice. And it feels great. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me go forward, guys. Down here, you have to cup holders and you can also smoke here if you if someone smoke in this car but i doubt that someone smoke inside this car it will be a shame anyway armrest here leather and then um inside here you will see you have the two usb ports and led light you can charge your phone wireless here you have the sd card uh port and the sim card port there so you can put your sim if you want the internet connection inside the car and also the sd uh, card 
um, yeah, if you want to install something like a navigation. Also, here is the mirror. Look, also fancy, tiny edges. Um, you know, like like. It feels nice when you have these tiny edges. LED light up here on the roof. You have the controllers for the glass roof. And then other button, SOS button. And yeah, the lights up there. So kind of classic, no glass support there. But it's not so much space for glass support in this car. Then you have the mirror, LED light. Still a handle here in the front. And then here in the middle, I already show you this controller. So um we will also go to the multimedia system to show you the multimedia system i think you already see it in my other videos but i go through a little bit so you have here all the option kind of the menu and then you have the, the weather the news you can uh the username here you can change it if it's your car you can customize the way you want it here you can see the car is connected to the internet you can see even the weather for the next days but anyway um then you have this main menu, then you go in the main menu here where you have the navigation, you have the, here are the settings of the car, you can change the language from here, or the taste, the tastature, how we say the keyboard. Then um, here you have the, all the option from navigation, 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 music, uh, and all that settings that you can change the settings of the car. Then you have the car information. You have to start the engine in order to see that car information, consumption, and the tire pressure and all that info. The navigation, it's fabulous, guys. The screen, it's fabulous, actually. Uh, you have a great screen. Also, it gives you a little bit of feedback every time you touch something it will click it will make this sound like click click and it will you will feel like a vibration in the, in the finger so it's quite good also it's work very fast hardware it's awesome it's very responsive um it's one of the best yeah on the market so uh also it's it's loading very fast you have a 3d map also 2d depend how you want to use it um and it's very simple to, to, to navigate to places. Uh, also here, it it's works so fast. You can see every time you, you press a button, you want to do something. It works really, really uh, fast. So something that I, I really like it. So anyway, there on the, on the left side, you still have the kind of a shortcut button. Here you can see the parking place in the where you want to go right now here on the left side you have the telephone you have some kind of shortcuts button and uh, the radio of course and then also the menu you know back here so let me go back to the navigation and let me show you for example um let me navigate to a place for example let me go to you can also touch the map directly let me see here yes and then you touch directly where you want to go then you go here on this then you go start and it will load instantly you don't have to wait it's no loading time it's just just directly there so that's a cool cool things to see on the car um other than that um i think I show you almost everything guys it's, it's not so complicated it's simple you can learn this system in in, in one day you, you learn everything here's the wireless information and all that stuff so anyway guys um that was the review with the new audi rs7 sportback um hybrid version kind of a hybrid because the car have also this electric well, battery and um also, uh, I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, let me close it. Anyway, guys, um, that was the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if it was uh, helpful, please like it, uh, share it. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest car on the market. Um, thank you very much for watching again, and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.